at XYZ Robotics, we build smarter eyes and hands for the robot to pick anything and uh, place it anywhere. We focus on the vision system and also the hands, the tooling of the robot. So what are these robots actually designed to do in the field? Right now we focus on uh, logistic automation. There are lots of different kinds of items. It could be e-commerce goods or the packages in the sorting facility. What they are doing is just pick uh, from a clutter or pile tote and pick one by one, we call it singulation, onto either conveyor or another totes to go to different places. It's very difficult for machine to replicate human's capability to deal with so many different items and at a very high speed. So what we are doing here is try to push forward the limits of the robots to uh, able to deal with multiple kinds of items and at, at, at a very high rate. So what, what is the solution on the grip end and, and you know, how is it different than a rigid hand or a suction cup, for example? First, we have a compliance device. So human arm has some softness compliance. So when we go on to grab something very fast, it won't like, hurt ourselves and not hurting the item. The second technology is a tool changer. The tool changer enables the robot to change tools. Based on our AI technology, we are able to know uh, whether this uh, item is good for a suction cup or a gripper. So it's, it's doing that on the fly, it spots something that it requires a different tool for and then it switches between yeah, the two? it switches. Uh, and how long does that process take? So the switching takes about 0.5 seconds. Okay. The fastest in the world as far as we know, yeah. It sounds like there's potentially more points of failure, right? If, yeah. if that's part of the process versus one tool repetitively picking things up. To pick up multiple kinds of items, one way is you put all, all kinds of tools onto your hand, then your hand becomes bulky and any tool fail, then the whole hand fail. It actually decreases the failure rate. So what's the state of the company? How far along is the technology and when are we actually going to sort of see these out in the world? It's kind of starting from the whole business point of view, but it's, we are getting there.